Now, once our project is kind of ready, uh, it's a high time to publish it to web. So we're going to do it in two steps, or actually three steps. So first, we're going to create a database, then we're going to point our project to the new database, and then we're going to publish our project to web. Uh, I'm going to use MDB Go platform for it, which is free for you to use. So if you don't have an account, simply navigate to mdbgo.com and then just simply sign up, register here. Um, it's free, and you can have a complementary database as well as a hosting. So once you're logged in, just navigate to databases, and then let's create a new database. You can have either MongoDB or MySQL. We're going to go with the MySQL, as you might remember. And now let's um, create the uh, database um, for our project. Let's call it CMSDB, the same for username, password secret.1, secret.1. And this is CMS database. And let's create database. So. Here we can see uh, our credentials. So uh, this is the last time you can see the password over here. So it's secret.1, and this is database name, username, and this connection string. Uh, now, if we find our database over here, which is this one, you're gonna see host name, username, and you obviously won't see your password, but you can always reset it if you forget uh, about it. Okay, so this is the first thing. Actually, one step I didn't mention yet, we uh, we have to recreate tables, right? Obviously, because our new database doesn't have table yet. But for that, we're going to use um, import export option. So let's go to localhost uh, PHP my admin. And I mean, obviously, you could, uh, if you go here, you're going to get into the PHP my admin for mdbgo.com. So same way as you do it on localhost, you can access your database, you can manage your database from phpmyadmin.mdbgo.com. So you can use the credentials which we have here. Okay, secret.1, go, and here you can see that you have access to this database. It's empty, obviously. So you can either create uh, the tables like we did in a uh, previous lessons. So you can simply just uh, create a new table, give it a name, columns, and so on. But since we already done that once, let's uh, use it what we already have. So let's head off to localhost PHP my admin. Uh, hold on, it's, it's uh, Googling it instead of uh, getting there. So we have our CMS here, and let's just do export. So um, I'm going to do the quick option. You can, you can basically mm, do some uh, certain customization over here. You can decide whether you want to just uh, get only tables or tables with data in it. Um, if you do just export, you're going to see that you're going to get the CMS uh, SQL export. I have two uh, because I did it uh, before already. And now just go back to CMS um, DB on mdbgo.com. Now click on this database, click on import, and simply drag and drop it here. And here, uh, let me move it because my avatar is over here. You should see this kind of um, screen. Uh, you can also click here, choose file, and go over with this one. However, um, this success means that if we go here, we can already see our database as well as content. So we're going to have like full copy of it. OK, that's perfect. Now let's, um, let's point our project to the new uh, database uh, right now. So we're going to run our code on the local host, but at the same time, we're going to be using already the new database. So let me quickly open project. Okay, so here it is. And as you can see, we are using local host now. Let's change it to point uh, and point it to our new database. Okay, so we're going to change host to MySQL dbmdbgo.com, username and database name. We're going to change it to this one and then let's do password secret dot one and let's see whether it works or not and as you can see voila it's connecting to the new database just to double check that let me uh let me use a wrong password and it doesn't work right so let's fix it now it's working perfectly fine okay so now um we have a just last step to um, actually publish our project. So we're going to use um, mdbgo command line. So mdb login, username and password. And if it, if it doesn't work for you, 
uh, then what do you have to do when you have to head to mdbgo.com and then just run this npm install let me do it for you mm, this function this command will install uh, mdb command line uh, you need to have a node installed for that so if you don't have npm so basically if you type npm and nothing happens or you get error that means that um, you don't have npm installed if you type npm minus v you should see some version of npm if you don't have it go node.js download and download and install the one for you uh, version However, I assume that you already have that. So after installation of MDB Go, just type MDB, login, provide your username and password. And now what we're going to do, we're going to publish our project. So type MDB, backend, publish. And it will ask us to create some mandatory files. Project name, let's go with the CMS. This is a backend project and we want to use uh, PHP 7.4 for it and now our project will get deployed so it will take just a few seconds to upload the files and the CLI will take care about everything else for you okay now that project is done uh, you can see your uh, link so we, you got the free link here and let's check whether it works and we are getting some error. So let's quickly check what's going on. Cannot modify header information. Headers already sent. Okay, so let's go to headers. This is it. Uh, okay, line number 13. Oh, I can see what's going on. So here we are already using, uh, we are sending HTML, right? Because the header, it's HTML and we are trying to uh, change a header which is impossible at this moment so let's just move it further let's just do it uh, above here okay and now let's refresh oh obviously we have to republish right mdb publish again because we change it locally on our uh, computer so we need to republish it it will upload the files again and I think we also have to change one more thing because in our function, we do uh, hard code this slash CMS, which won't be needed anymore. I think this is the link, right? You can see down here, uh, if we try to open it, it will try to get to the CMS, which obviously doesn't exist. So we're also going to take care of it. Okay, let's refresh. And now it's working fine. You have successfully be logged in and we have our dashboard. We have our post management here so we can change. We can work on that. And this doesn't work home, right? CMS. So let's fix this one as well. So let's just get rid of this. Let me quickly check if we have anything else like that. So in a header, do we have any hard coded CMS? Search for CMS. Yeah, this is the one so also let's get rid of this one republish and now if we try to go to home it works like a charm um perfect so there are two things now so the first thing is that it's very important to also check your code on production because uh, of different settings on the localhost and the production we couldn't see we couldn't spot our issue on the localhost so you know once you're done with your code and you think you are done you hand it over to the customer and customer might encounter you know uh, some issues and you would be surprised because you couldn't see any um, uh, anything like that on your localhost environment and second thing um, this is the request to you. Let me know down below in the comments what kind of features you would like me to add to this um, CMS app. I already have idea on uh, some other features uh, like file upload, like uh, resetting password when you forget your password. So connecting to the email server, which is going to send an email with the reset password and so on and so on. So I already have idea. So subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next episodes. But also please do let me know um, if you have anything in mind which you would like me to do for you to add to this app. Thanks for watching. Keep coding.